I am all caught up with my Woolens and Nosh Advent socks and I'm so thrilled. Took a little bit of furious knitting, but we've got five stripes and it's December 5th. Obviously the whole point is that I have no idea in which direction we are headed, but so far I'm thrilled. Loving this green. The theme of this year was light and dark. So yeah, so far it's kind of like we're going um, lighter in value, but I have a feeling that we're gonna be taken on a journey and I can't wait, so. <laughs> Yeah, so sweet. So this is the shawl that I really love the size of that I'm basing this shawl after. Um, so it looks like the centers are matching up pretty evenly. So at this point, I'm going to start figuring out how to do this short row border. So you can see it gets a lot longer here. And the purpose of that is that the triangle, like the center part of the shawl, is not very long. Um, but the wings are long so that it wraps nicely. So um, I'm going to begin this like garter short row section. Um, and really I'm just winging it. <laughs> That's what I did with this one as well. Um, I based like this part of the shawl off of the Together Shawl by Sophia Camaborn. The little baubles are like really ingenious on that one but it's like in a fingering weight and this yarn that I have is more of a sport so um, and it's alpaca but it should stretch quite a bit. I'm at my cousin's house. I fell asleep while putting my niece down for her nap, but she should be asleep for like another hour or so. Um, and so I'm going to enjoy some time, um, probably like watching a knitting podcast or some vlogmas videos. But um, tonight I'm going to my knitting book club. Uh, it's basically a book club, but it's with all of the friends that I've made at Knit Night. <laughs> so we're doing a little yarn swap, like a white elephant. Um, I haven't decided what I'm going to take yet. 
Um, but I was sort of thinking of putting together some minis. I did not read the book. I started reading it. I think I mentioned this like while I was baking the other day. I was like, let me just listen to the book. And it is Under the Whispering Door by TJ Klune. And he has another really popular book that is out. Um, like The House of the Cerulean Sea. Like I've heard really, really good things about it. But um, I started listening to it uh, and I got maybe like three to seven percent through somewhere in there and I don't know how else to describe this but I, as I was reading it I was just like a dude wrote this <laughs> and I don't read a lot of books um by men frankly and I just like couldn't get into it like the main character is like super unlikable and I'm not opposed to reading unlikable main characters but it was like kind of grueling so anyway I don't know um but it's like we do sometimes talk about the book like sometimes we have a lot to talk about and sometimes it's just like yeah it was good I enjoyed it um but I I think like other people in the book club also were not really enjoying it so um, but I am reading the book that I told you about, um, a couple days ago. I just mentioned that I was starting it. And so I have started it and oh my God, I like can't wait to keep reading it. It is called Kiss Her Once For Me. It is a holiday rom-com, um, and it is queer and I, oh my God, I like can't wait. You know, like the wrong, it's a pretty like conventional rom-com trope um but like it's just very well written it's very convincing I'm enjoying it a lot um and it takes place in Portland so it like starts at Powell's it like features a lot of streets that I am now familiar with so like it's been oh I'm having so much fun reading it um yeah I'll put a link down below in case you want to check it out I am tandem reading it and listening to the audiobook um, because I got it through the library, the Libby app. So I think I'm going to blow through it. It's really, really good. So anyway, hanging out here. Um, yeah, I'm going to see, I don't know, maybe I'll just listen to the book for a little bit longer. Um, I also started dinner. I think I meant like, sorry if I'm repeating myself, but like on Tuesdays I watch my niece and I make a crock pot dinner so that um, when I'm done watching my niece and when my cousin gets home, we all have something to eat and I'm trying a new recipe. Most of the time I'm trying a new recipe, but, um, it's called like the millionaire's pasta or something like that. And it's like, you just put in the noodles with pasta sauce. And I did a mixture of ground beef and turkey and like ricotta cream cheese and sour cream. And then I'm gonna top it all with mozzarella. So it's like kind of bonkers, but um, that's what I wanted. It just sounded really good. So that's what we're doing. I'll let you know how it turns out. You'll see how it turns out. Um, and so while I'm sitting here and hanging out and knitting before Mira wakes up, I'm also trying to decide what I'm gonna take to the swap tonight. But that should be fun. I'm excited to show you Susan's house because um, her house is beautiful. So, okay, see you in a bit.
I need a good gift bag. Yeah. No, it's This was Susan for sure. <laughs> I just got home and I'm settling in to start editing today's vlog. Um, we had such a good time at our knitting book club holiday party. I brought the ginger molasses cookies, which were a huge hit, and we did a little yarn swap, which you saw video of. So I initially stole um, a skein of Sorella yarn from my friend Riley, and then it got stolen from me by my coworker Kyla. <laughs> and so then I took Tim's um, bag that he brought to the party. I didn't know what was in it. Um, and I got some lovely skeins of wool folk. So Tim, um, works for Wolf Oak, which is based in Portland. Um, and your yarn is like absolutely lovely. So it's like this very high quality um, merino. So very happy with these and they're all fingering weight. And then um, also this boucle, which is like alpaca and um, silk, which everyone was like, you could dye that. It would be really cool. but. I don't know, it's only 25 grams. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. And then last, a skein of Patton's Sock Croy. So these are pretty small skeins, but I can definitely use it with either some other Patton's I have or in my sister's blanket or whatever. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with my haul, even though <laughs> Kyla stole mine, it's fine. <laughs> so we all had like a really, it was a blast. And this is, mind you, it was all stash yarn that people brought. Um, my uh, bag that I brought was um, fought over, which was very cute. Um, but yeah, that's, that's my day. Uh, it was pretty busy, but um, I'm appreciative that Kay was willing to do some errands this morning, so I had a pretty chill morning aside from starting um, the crock pot yes so i'll um see you tomorrow for the next day of vlogmas bye